Hey YouTube, Blake1827. I'm back after my mid-Atlantic vacation and a bit of a hiatus from making videos for the YTPC. So, we'll see if I remember the formula of doing this. Housekeeping first. This is my Altine Meerschaum poker. Kind of like the uh, Elting Basic or the the Nording. Nice little sailor shape. It's getting a little bit of color to it finally. Using my new favorite lighter. This one's actually refillable. It's not a Bic. I don't know what brand it is, but I got it at the dollar store on vacation. And it's held up through a couple of refills so far, so no complaints. And I am smoking a blend I'm revisiting. Uh, Ken Byron Ventures Verve Engine Overdrive. that was gifted to me about three years ago from Big Joe Smoke Show's Gaw. I'll put a link in the ashtray of my initial review of this one, um, but I have had it jarred up for basically the last three years. and I cracked it open before I went on my Atlantic coast vacation and because uh, I just wanted to I wanted a Virginia and I wanted to see if this one had changed at all and uh, the sharpness and the uh, the sweetness is definitely gone the metallic flavor that I was having and that little conflict with the the sweet and the vinegar notes are pretty much completely gone Um, but yeah, I've got a bit more of this left, so I think I'll smoke through this for now. And then I was, uh, talking to Jim today, Emerson Southern Forged, my new neighbor, essentially. Lives just a few minutes south of me in Parker. talking to him about a blend that I'm thinking of uh, playing around with a couple of Virginias so maybe uh, we'll see that here in the future but yeah the sweetness is toned down quite a bit on this blend but it's still pretty sweet very smooth very mellow this blend had a lot of aged um, components in it, from what I recall. I'll include that stuff in the ashtray down below as well, because I don't recall off the top of my head. Besides, it had some really old Perique and a couple of McClelland components. but I've been trying to remember what Periques and Virginias taste like because I haven't smoked any for quite a while. I smoked uh, Cloud Bear's uh, Dark Fired Kentucky Blend he mixed up for me. And then I smoked another blend of his which was more of a cocoa chocolate aromatic that, that I actually really enjoyed. And I've just been on kind of an aromatic kick this, so far this year. The other blend I've been smoking after I finished Clad Bear's blends were, uh, or actually was a 
a blend called University Student, which was from a blend kit from uh, Pipes and Cigars. And I th think that's essentially just almost like a light 1Q. It's uh, pretty mild. It's got a little bit of flavor to it, but it's nothing great. But it's kind of a nice outdoor people pleaser type smoke. So that's what I took with me on vacation. But I only got to smoke twice on vacation when I was doing laundry, so. Can't smoke on the beach. Can't smoke in your hotel balconies, so it's kind of limited to when and where I could smoke. And I'm uh, having some unsweet iced tea in my stein. But yeah, uh, vacation was great. Uh, had never been to the those mid-Atlantic states, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, um, North Carolina. Um, the beaches were really nice, the ones that we went to. I mean, on par with the nicest beaches I've been to in Southern California and South Florida, so uh, was pleasantly surprised. Uh, really good time, and uh, we were really happy with the weather. We had a little bit of smoke for a few days from those wildfires up in Canada, in uh, Quebec, and uh, it was all right. It, but the temperatures were were pleasant. It wasn't overly humid or anything. So, we really enjoyed ourselves. It was just a uh, very, very long drive from uh, Denver out to the East Coast and back. Anyways, I think I'll wrap this up for now. And uh, hope you guys are all doing well. And you'll see some more videos from me going forward this summer. Take care, everybody. Be well.